Hello, welcome to part two of making a simple powder horn. Uh, this is how the horn looked last time you seen it in um, part one. There will be a link to part one in the description. So what I want to do now is shape the body so it looks attractive and also has the ability to have a strap so it doesn't slide off. So what I'm going to do is take a sharpie and I have that little junk there right in front of that junk I'm gonna draw a line all the way around the horn trying to keep it square to the body Just like that, so. And then, what I want to do is take a hacksaw. And carefully cut just about the depth of the teeth, maybe a little deeper around that line. Like I said, I'm not cutting through the horn, I'm just cutting along that line. You can see the little cut I made there. And maybe, probably to start, probably only like a 32nd of an inch deep. After that, I'm then going to take this file and going against this edge, I'm going to come around that line. sure you guys can see that good. And I'm holding it about 30 degree angle to the horn. See I'm starting to work that surface down. So I'm starting to work this edge around and now I want to kind of blend it in you know come down to where your soul mark is So you know, now that I have it that far, I am going to come in and now that I got to my soul line, 
I will come in and work the rest of the horn down to make a really nice even taper. So I got that roughly worked in and I think I want to go a little bit deeper so I'm again going to take the saw and just go right up against that edge and lightly go around the horn with the sole creating a little cut and I'll repeat what I just did with filing blending that file mark out So it's looking good. I think I'm now, the next thing I'm going to do is blend that a little bit more with a scraper. Now to do the scraping, I am going to come to a different location. Like I did in the other video, I soaked the horn in water. Um, I'm going to sit in my relaxing chair. And then lay a towel on my leg to hold the horn. And I'm going to scrape towards the neck. I'm going to start up on the back and work the horn in a rotation like this. And you can do this while fishing or while relaxing. Put your phone out in front of you and listen to your favorite YouTube video. Maybe watch some of my old squirrel tail videos. And just keep working it around and around.
Okay, so this is how you seen the horn last time. I got that angle nice and worked down. Now this step I've already actually done on this horn because I had my camera set wrong, but I'll still go through the process. I want to make that horn look like this, the spout. So I'm going to take a quarter inch drill. I'm going to drill through it. Make it a little bigger. And then I'm going to take the end of a file. And I'm going to file it open a little bit more. And this is just a, a file without a handle. Any file will work and these sharp corners act as a reamer. And it makes for then a, a tapered hole. This will make the powder flow out of it nicer and also make it easier for you to get a seal on your peg. So now that I've done that, the next thing I want to do is shape the tip a little bit more. So I'm going to try to make it round instead of oval. So I'm just going to kind of follow the radius on the side. There, so you can see better. And just work a radius and try to get that hole in the center. And also get any marks off it. that tip's looking good but now I notice that it's not quite as deep here so I'm gonna go back behind that shoulder get that shoulder good And I would say this is pretty well roughed out. You know, I do have some finish work on it, but that will be later. So, the next thing I want to do now is get this base a little bit square. So, the next thing to get the horn base square, I'm going to use... A piece of um, coarse sandpaper. This is a hundred grit. I actually prefer eighty. Um, I'm going to take the horn. I'm going to take a sharpie, and I'm going to cover that edge and sharpie.
just like that. And I'm going to take the horn and hold up here and start pulling backwards. Putting even pressure along the horn. And yeah, you just want to lay the horn on a flat surface. And you want to keep looking to see as the sharpie disappears. Another option is to take a board and a sanding belt and then you can do the same thing. They work about the same. Now you can see all the Sharpies pretty much gone. So that tells me that the horn is flat on the top here. Then I'm going to take a little, another piece of sandpaper, a smaller piece, and kind of go around the inside edge a little bit. And then the outside edge. Basically removing any small burrs. So, now the body is roughly carved, and the spout's roughly shaped, um, so I'm ready to put a plug in. So, hope you enjoy, and make sure you subscribe so you can see part three of this video. In part three, I'll be cutting out and fitting a plug.